I'm going to be showing you how to do this on a website I developed <clears throat> for a guy who does uh, car quality care products, especially classic. I use Autoglim and uh, California Custom, so it's really a nice uh, product. But anyway, the header here I'm working on is also in Zencart, and um, it's the free open source e-commerce software which I use to prepare the site and everything above the menu has to be done through the server files and below the menu uh, Zencart allows you to go into the admin area <clears throat> and then work on the defined pages and the easy pages are called um, so to work above the menu you have to know a little bit more you have to use a PHP file. Now you don't have to know PHP programming per se, but you have to know how to get into the server files. And of course, that takes a um, file transfer program. I'm using FileZilla. It's free, open source also. It's a great uh, product. So basically you connect and get into the server and in my case um, I have a file already set up called jnbsales.com and you want to go into the public HTML files that's where these files are stored and then you want to go to the includes file now there's two include files in the Zencart program it's the one under admin we're not going to go into that one <clears throat> we're going to the includes file that stands alone and then we want to go down to templates click on templates then go into template default and then common and that will bring open up these files and the tpl header .php file is the one we want so you will then transfer this to your files on your computer and I think you should set up your computer files in the same structure so you won't get confused. I just call my includes jnbsales.com and then template template default and common and down here in this box is where you do your actual transferring of your files for those of you who know how to do file transfer but here is the file that you're going to transfer back into then we're ready to open uh, that file and work on it so then you go into your your files on your computer open it up and in my case mine opens with Dreamweaver but you can also use Microsoft Expression Web or other any other editor you want to use um, so I'm now opening here in Dreamweaver the file is tplheader.php so we want to scroll down till we get to the bottom of the header lo header loco logo and navigation display. Then go down below that and set you up a div, and we call a header wrapper. So uh, the first portions of this uh, are hidden not using these to hide these uh, statements you just put a exclamation two dashes in front of the, the name and then two dashes at the end and that will hide it it still shows up so you can open it up and use it later I, I don't like to delete stuff at best I just hide it because you never know when the clients gonna want you to go back and change something <clears throat> it's best to do this in a header and I'm sorry in a table here you set the table width. I've got to set it 100 percent. There's going to be one table row so you need a TR uh, statement and then a TD for each item you're putting in the row. This is my um, flash program that opens up when the program loads or the page loads and then this these are the images that show up here's a Jaguar that I've got hidden 
that the client had me put up because uh, they're going Jaguars, the people that have Jaguars like to use these car, car care products, Autoglum especially. And then here is PayPal function that I just put on. It's a six month uh, deal where you don't have to pay for six months. Client wanted me to put that on. And then uh, this is a LinkedIn uh, statement or link that he has and then another general PayPal. So we have to close all this row with a, a closing TR uh, just statement and then close the table. And so we don't have to do anything else below here. Uh, this is These are the menus and so forth, but you don't have to get into any of that if you don't want. Uh, this is just to work on the header for this program. So then obviously when you're done, you save it and and then open back up your STP program or your FTP program and then transfer back over to the server and that's it. So if you're interested in more of these type of uh, programming aids, especially in Zencart, um, follow me on my, my channel at Harrison4803 or John H. Old John signing off.